Good morning everyone, Mary from Ireland here with our weekly reading, our journey back to love um, for week beginning, what, 6 and 7, 13, the 23rd of October 2019, but if you trip across this at any time other than that date, it's for you to take what resonates and leave the rest. A uh, special request to use the Flower Therapy deck by Doreen Virtue and, Ra and Robert Reeves. And I'm going to pull, I think, two from each, the Goddess deck as well. Energies are not, um, they're not high with me these days. Things are strange. It's hard to make out what's going on, but sure, we'll... Stay in each moment, stay in each day. My eyes are itchy and sore as well. And um, it could be a clearing, I think, because um, in my meditation group, my head was being worked on last Monday night. So it's um, all good, as we say. So, flower therapy deck, two cards for whoever is watching and the messages we all need for this upcoming week, the 23rd of October. Or any week you trip across this, time is not linear with spirit. Ooh, <laughs> okay, we'll work on these two first. Okay, emotional healing with the bleeding heart and peer pressure with the primrose. And look at the colors. So pink, self-love, self-care, and seeing others as being on their soul journey as well. Sending them love and light if you can. Stepping back if you need to, both self-love and self-care. And we'll do the peer pressure first. Don't let others coerce you into a decision. You know in your heart what is the right choice. Okay? And also, I'm feeling, don't let others, others, um, form or energy bring you down as well. So don't let others coerce you into a decision. You know in your heart what is right for you. And don't make huge, quick decisions. Uh, be calm when you're making your decisions. Calm, breathe, decide. And the universe will row in behind you then. So take it easy. Slow time. Emotional. Show you the card. Primrose. It's a pink primrose. And the purple behind it, of course. So linking, receiving our mes messages through the crown chakra and bringing them into our heart and feeling if it's correct for us. It's safe for you to let go of old emotional pain. By doing so, you allow your heart to mend. I had a client yesterday, and yes, and I've gone through this myself. Uh, I'm healing. I'm still healing. Oh, my God, is this healing ever going to end? And it's all healing, 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 healing. Switch the mindset. Um, dr let it go for a while if it's not done or finished, whatever healing you're doing. Let it go. Put it down. Um, we did at the meditation we were in a hot air balloon and we were throwing out the bags the sandbags or whatever is in them I presume it's sand and throwing them out and naming each bag letting it go letting it go and going higher and higher and higher so just because the past wasn't good it doesn't mean that today can't be good or the future can't be good so let go of your old stories your old belief systems your old thoughts that well it didn't work then it's not going to work now be in the moment cut that cord to the past emotional pain and come into joy and come into gratitude for today and where we are and that's a good message for me too because i was feeling a bit blah what am i doing here but i am doing a fair having a stall at a fair on sunday in foxford opposite the woolen mills so i'm looking forward to that there should be plenty of football and energy and chat and all of that i've never done that one before but looking forward to it so peer pressure make your own decisions and let go of the old pain it's it's you can't bring it into the future with you the new does not involve 
the old pain, the old struggle, the old mindset, the old beliefs, the old way of being and the old story. There's a new story evolving, 515, big message of mine, a new story evolving and a new you evolving and new people around you evolving and those you'll attract those now if you attract the people who are triggering you of course it's more than likely uh what what have i learned from this before how do i react do i react in the old way or do i just put into practice what i've learned see this person as a soul on a journey and step back send love and light if you can surround everybody with white light and the best of intentions okay interesting now our goddess deck they were all pink it'd be oh there's two flew out together and bridget is one of them the celtic goddess don't back down stand up for what you believe is right i said to somebody a couple of weeks ago I'm sorry if my beliefs are no strong, if I'm too strong in my beliefs, if they don't resonate with you or whatever way I put it. Uh, but I strong beliefs on some of my journeys and strong inner knowing and strong wisdom. So don't back down. Listen to your heart. Feel the passion in your heart and follow it. Um, you know, it doesn't mean taking great, great action. It means the energy of your heart and putting it out there and sharing it and seeing the ripple effect of you opening your heart, helping others around you open their hearts too. So Bridget, she's a Celtic goddess, Saint Bridget. See her cross is there. The 1st of February is her um, feast day. And all around Ireland, we have Saint Bridget's Wells. If any of you ever come to visit, have a look for some of them. There's one outside Mullingar in County Westmead. There's one in Liscanner, County Clare. And a few up the north as well. I'm sure there are more and I forget them. I think there's one in Kildare as well. I think that might be the main one. So um, if you're drawn, if you're guided. Let me see colours, blue and green. We have another purple here, oh, the sorceress, R Rhiannon. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality, most definitely. So leave this behind. Walk into the new. Never mind people who are trying to push you into decisions, but be open to listening to other people's opinions and thoughts and perceptions if you do ask them or if you do share your journey with them be open to listening but your heart will tell you your right decision for you and the heart doesn't have to be bleeding all the time the bleeding heart that was in the past the heart is opening up more fully to feel more joy and love and peace and let it do so by dropping the old story so Bridget and the Celtic goddess, and I was discussing, not Bridget, but Irish history with somebody the other day. And we've had a dark past and we're all healing a dark past. There's no point in saying we're not, but we're bringing in a brighter future. That's what we're here for. We're letting go of the old stories. We're healing, we're spreading our energy, we're transmuting energy. We are letting go, releasing, helping um healing the whole lot so don't back down stand up for yourself stand up for your beliefs and know that you are here for a huge spiritual energetic reasons so the sorceress see now the moon energy coming down and bathing her and bringing her uh, inspiration as well and the unicorn light energy you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So what do you intend, first of all, for yourself? For your future, for your present? Be who you want to be. Work towards who you want to be on this earth and work towards what's, what your heart is telling you to work towards. Like, what's your mission? 
And it could just be, like some people do, pack their bags and go off on holidays more often than not. But that's grid work. They are where they're meant to be at any given time. Feeling the energies of the cities or the areas, exchanging energies, transmuting energies, and meeting other like-minded people or meeting family to connect with, to help heal. And, you know, we don't even know. I know some of the bigger picture, but uh, there's a bigger, 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 bigger picture that we probably won't know until we're on the other side. Or hopefully I'd like to know more here in this physical body. So bring it on, we'll say, if it's meant to be. So, um, yes, this is what you are and you've got to let go of the old story and these goddesses they're strong goddess guides and ladies and we don't have to be aggressive in our strength assertive confident knowing gentle compassionate kind bringing our energy to the planet so love and light to you talk to you soon and i will be at Foxford on Sunday and the meditation in the Diamond Coast on uh, Monday night and that's it for now.